Well, hello, and uh, a very warm welcome to you for this evening's game. Regrettably, the weather has been extremely unkind to us here. It is wet and blustery and really rather inhospitable. Despite all of that, it is good to see that the faithful from both camps have apparently been undeterred. We have a super turnout here, the atmosphere is bubbling, and despite all of the adverse conditions, the game, I'm glad to report, will be kicking off on time. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Manchester have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check, it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. And it's Aguero. Maguire takes the long option. And he's made certain that won't get through. Cuts it out. Kumbawan, company. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. It's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end they are defending the indefensible. right from the top draw and he's produced a beauty Leicester take the early advantage. Sterling. Well, Brighton, good energy in defence as well. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Sterling looking to get on the end of this. Lovely bit of skill. It's a loose ball. And the defence can get it clear. All Brighton. Hoists it high. Tries to dink it in. And that's been levered clear. That intervention was very necessary. Now it's Vardy. And the finish! Saved only by poor finishing. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. Pereira kicks it up from the goal kick. Back to the keeper and go again. It's 
Sterling. Silva. Didi. He's through. Now, can he capitalise? He's left his man. Vardy. Now, can he finish? Sinchenko. Silva. Laporte. Kyle Walker. Laporte. Silva. And it's Sané. The ball's come loose, and the chase is on. It's out for a goal kick. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Company. Sterling, Bernardo Silva, Kyle Walker, Company, Laporte. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Away from immediate danger. Played into space out wide. Going for goal! It's there! A two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Leicester, and the whistle goes for half-time. Some first-half thoughts? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a... Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done but that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. Chilwell. Albrighton. Johnny Evans. Maguire. Madison. Chilwell. It's gone for a throw-in. has got rid of that. Johnny Evans. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. All Brighton. Breaks on here, going through. Vardy has a pop! Now 
Bernard Silva plays it forward. Didi. Ricardo Pereira. He's got away. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Zinchenko. Gundogan. Kyle Walker. Bernardo Silva. Kyle Walker. Bernardo Silva. Manchester haven't made a substitution yet. Laporte. Gundogan. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. And it's Sterling. It's gone a long way up and away. Manchester did it back again. All the way back and they start again. Company. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's got through. He's left his man. Bernardo shoots! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, the most exciting sight on a football pitch. He had too much trickery for that defence. Brilliant. Manchester can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. Vardy. Plays it out to the flank. Johnny Evans. And back to base. Manchester don't appear to have what it takes to get back into this one, but they do have what it takes to show enough pride and passion to appear to the fans that they care. Pereira goes up and over. There's going to be another change here. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big... Great lead! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Sane gets it back. Silva. And it's Aguero. Aguero plays it out to the wing. Lovely bit of skill there. Looks to drop up to meet it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Leicester can defend those situations better by stopping. And that will be the final act. Well, the players certainly gave it everything but just didn't get the break. Terrific support, terrific effort, but the wrong outcome. Your final thoughts, Jim? Manchester certainly didn't see this coming.